Hello. Um, thank God for bringing us together. Um, there's something pressing that I really want to discuss um, with us at a time such as this when everybody's panicking. We're hearing pandemic, epidemic, plague, and those words they tend to uh, bring up to inspire, to instigate and inspire fear in people and in the society. But I know that fear shouldn't rule God's child. And I know that in the midst of all of this, that God's word, that God's spirit will keep his own. So talking about being preserved from epidemic, that is the promise that God has given unto us. And we need to activate that promise. We need to work with it in order to make sure that we enjoy the benefit of this promise. Is 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 there for everyone who connects with it? Exodus twelve, verse thirteen it said, "And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. The blood shall be for, to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I say the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you." when i smite the land of egypt so when this plague is raging on around you god is assuring his children that the blood the blood is a token to protect you just the same way it happened in the land of egypt when the plague was ravaging the whole land the people were in Goshen were protected because of the blood. And the same thing is happening right now, you God's child, when you learn to activate the workings of the blood of Christ in your life, the protection that the blood of Christ brings to you, the blood shall also be a token of shield to you, a token to shield you from the calamity, from the upcoming calamity. Because I know that things are just getting worse I know that the world is not getting any better, but remember that those who know their God, they shall be strong and they will continue to do great things. They will continue to do exploit. So child of God, coronavirus, locust, swarm, and lasta fever, whatever it is, is the hunter virus, whatever they are. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will be shielded from it because you are a child of God that is protected under the blood of Christ. And also, if you read Psalms 1 that says that those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So you can also see here that the onus is on you to dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. The onus is for you to run into that place of safety and then you will abide and then the, the shadow of God will cover you up. How do you dwell in the secret place of the Most High? It comes back to what you believe. It comes back to what is, what is that thing that you are using as your own cover which is the blood of Jesus and the word of the Lord. When you hold on to God's promises, you will be saved. He will continue to protect you his own. His blood is there for you. So child of God, my message, my main message is exercise good sense, protect yourself, and also stimulate your immune system, eat good food. But above all, it's God's word that you need because you may do all those things but where the spiritual angle is against you, you never can tell. So, child of God, God's word is your best protection. Stay under the blood, under the cover of God's, of God's blood, of God's word. That the blood of Jesus Christ, so I'm I praying for you today, and I want you to be praying that prayer for yourself. That the same blood of Christ that forms a shield over you will also cover your household. So, the blood of Jesus Christ is a shield for you, child of God against coronavirus, against any other attack of the enemy that the enemy is bringing, that the blood of Jesus will shield you from it. God has commanded his angels to protect you. And I pray, join me in praying that this plague will come to a stop. Speak to it and say in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak and I join my faith with other Christians calling to halt this plague of coronavirus or any other plague that is ongoing right now in the name of Jesus. Call the name of your country 
and call the name of your community and say i stop your activity i stop your i stop all the multiplication i stop it today in the mighty name of jesus Join forces, join voice with us, and let us bring this coronavirus to an end. God will bring illumination to all the people who need to know, who need to do something about it. He will give them insight, he will give them inspiration, and it will come to a complete stop in Jesus' name. So do not be afraid. You are protected. The blood of Jesus. So confess this after me, that the blood of Jesus is visible upon me and my household. The blood of Jesus is visible upon me and my household. And it forms a token to word of evil, sickness, plague, including coronavirus, COVID-19, from me in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is visible upon me and my household and forms a token to word of evil, sickness, Plague, including coronavirus, COVID-19, swarm locust, Lassa fever, hunter virus, away from me and my household in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And as you, have as you have confessed today, so it is. Power has followed your confession because you have done so in belief and trust in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus Christ continues to form a shield over you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.